Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. And tonight we're ripping a sealed hobby box of 2007 Fleer. Actually, the final year that Fleer uh, produced baseball cards, Upper Deck actually bought the rights to the name and then decided to discontinue them in 2007. So uh, we have a last year of Fleer here. We got 36 packs. And um, 430 cards set, but the final 30 cards were only exclusive to factory sets. So, um, really only 400 cards we have a chance at here, but a lot of insert cards, a lot of autographs, things of that nature. I wasn't collecting in 2007, so um, one reason why I love doing this series, it gives me a chance to go back and check out cards that I never got to experience. And uh, I never opened a pack of these or anything else, so I'm looking forward to it. Really the best rookies we're really looking for tonight. Let's say like Troy Tolowitzki can be found in the 50 card rookie subset. Andrew Miller is another one. But um, love ripping these boxes looking for uh, insert cards, autographs, stuff like that. So thanks for being here. We got 36 packs. And in the very first spot, we got John A in the top nine. So let's pull out nine packs here. We got four there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. We are all set. Got Griffey in his Reds attire on the pack and on the box here. Put that up to the background. Good luck to you, John A. Let's try to pull you some fire tonight. Ten cards per pack. We have two rookie cards, the subset that I mentioned earlier, and one rookie sensations insert card. Drew Brush, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Louis Moreno, everyone, thank you all for being here. Let's see what we can find tonight. Kyle Snyder leading off. Get a feel for these cards. Kind of uh, almost feels like recycled card stock. They did that a lot in the, the late 90s. Dan Ugla, Rocco Baldelli, and Chen Ming Wang. I'm not really too familiar with these. Some sort of like mini insert uh, set there. Those are interesting. Brian Stokes is our first rookie card. And Beltran Perez and a rookie sensations. These are nice looking. Um, Ricky Nolasco. That's pretty awesome. So you get one per pack. Kind of kills a little bit of the fun there, but those are nice looking cards. Alex Rios. And look at that. In the very first pack, John A is a Yankees fan, so that's pretty nice. In the zone, A Rod. And that is an insert card. A little white corner there. Kind of sucks being on the bottom of the pack, but that is definitely a cool looking card. Paul also says Ricky Nolasco is okay. Yeah, so um, box of these aren't too expensive either, so they won't break your wallet getting these. Hey, Dave M., what's happening, man? And Kingler XST, cool to see these sets that don't get much attention. That's why I like opening them. I've never got to experience them before, so um, really fun to go back and check these out. Lofton and his Rangers attire, I, I, that's weird to me. Omar Vizquel, and um, I guess some sort of spacer there. Manny Ramirez mini is a cool one, too. Whatever these are called, I'll have to check those out, but that's a cool-looking card. I like that one. Ryan Sweeney, rookie card, and Kevin Hooper, and the rookie sensations, Scott Olson. I think they actually changed the colors up here. Austin Kearns and Victor Martinez ends that pack. Second pack in. Hey, Ryan Hilden, what's up, man? Patterson still hates seeing Griffin in his Reds uni yet. Doesn't seem right seeing him in that at all. Carlos Zambrano leading off here. It's a nice Andy Pettit and his Astros uniform. I don't know if I'll get ever used to that either. Chris Duffy, Miguel Montero, and Sean Riggins. The creepy smile on his face there. Aaron Hill. And look at that one. That's a nice one. Probably one of the best cards in that insert set. Justin Verlander, Rookie Sensations. Very, very nice. I like that one a lot. Nice little different color background on that one. And Johan Santana ends that pack out. Nice Verlander, though. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Moving on to pack four for John. So far, so good. Nothing too crazy, but a few nice ones. And a big poppy. Be nice if that was a um, game use memorabilia card. Jorge Posada. Carlos Silva. Bobby Abreu. Jeremy Hermida. I don't remember that name too well. Sean Hen. And there's Andrew Miller rookie card. 
It's one of the better ones we could find in the rookie subset in here. That's a nice one. I like that card. And it looks like we have back-to-back -back rookie sensations. Um, Boof Bonzer, her name I don't really recognize. And Hanley Ramirez is a nice one. Rookie sensations. And look at this. The Big Poppy crowning achievement insert card. That is freaking nice. Very, very nice. It's a good-looking card. Just pulled his rookie out of a pack the other day. So that was a heck of a pack. Hanley Ramirez, rookie sensations. Andrew Miller, rookie. And the Big Poppy crowning achievements. Not sure what the odds of those ones are, but that though is definitely a nice surprise in there. Did Fleer print the odds on here? They did not. Go figure. Hey, Vol Man, what's happening? Nice start. Vladdy Guerrero on the back of the pack here. Got a nice one to look forward to. Ryan Friel, Miguel Tejada, Jared Weaver, Jason Schmidt, Jose Garcia, Juan Salas. And another Scott Olson, Ramon Ortiz, and look at that. Perfect 10, Vladdy Sr. Another nice-looking card. I think it's my favorite one so far. Very, very nice. Perfect 10. I don't know what the odds of pulling that are. Let's see. Since uh, Fleer's not helping us out here, perfect 10, 1 in 5. So we might see a few of, the, a few of those. The crowning achievement, 1 in 5. Um, so they're... Kind of common, but perfect tens. We can find Jeter in there, Pujols, Miggy, Clemens, Halliday, Mussina. There's a decent amount of them, but uh, also some possible uh, autos and whatnot as well. But that's definitely probably one of the better cards in that perfect ten set. Pretty cool. I feel like Fleer always had that where they would make in some inserts like pretty easy to pull. And it was cool because it made, I mean, packs were pretty cheap. Like these were a buck 49 back in 07, so they were affordable. Edgar Renteria leading off, Roy Oswalt, Raphael Fercal, Ray Durham, and Justin Morneau. That's a cool one. David Murphy, Murphy rookie card, Juan Murillo rookie, and the rookie sensation, John Lester. Chad Cordero, and another perfect 10, Pudge Rodriguez. Two back to back. Hall of Fame inserts there. That's pretty sick. I'd say John A. has a pretty good stack so far. And we are four packs left here. Look at that. Frank Thomas, crowning achievement on the back. Matt Young says, do you know where I can buy a box of 89 Fleer for a good price? Oh, that's a tough one, man. I would try the Marketplace... I mean, the best place to find any kind of hobby boxes or wax boxes or anything are, I think, flea markets, honestly. <clears throat> it seems like eBay, all the prices are jacked way up on there, especially right now. There are so many people who are buying those on there. Jason Veritek, Pedro Martinez, Zach Duke. Really um, kind of a bust he was. Adam Eaton, Jeff Baker, rookie card. And back-to-back -back rookie sensation again, James Loney and Nick Markakis. Is a nice one. Rookie sensations on our crown achievement. The big hurt himself in an A's uniform. It's kind of weird seeing that, but these are cool cards, though. I like these inserts a lot. Very, very nice. Ortiz and now the big hurt. Sorry, I missed a uh, part of the chat here. I apologize. I'm I got way too sucked into all these inserts and everything. But I appreciate you guys all being here. Criterium Racer is here. Thank you, Lee. I appreciate that, man. Always good to see you. I'm saving um, a package to send out to you here pretty soon. And then also, Joe's Card Corral is in here. It says, I was drunk and made a red stew once. Got all my friends' crappy early 90s Reds cards. Ripped them up and kind of made a pile. <laughs> Joe's Card Corral. Thank you for being in here, man. Good to see you. I haven't seen you in here in a while. I actually set a few cards aside for you, Joe, that I was hoping that you would enjoy. And they are right here. I'm sure Joe can tell you about his um, utter detestation and hatred for this card. I actually want to get this in a PSA 10 and send it to you. Joe absolutely hates that card more than anything in this world, I feel like. Hey, Chris C., what's happening? Thank you very much, Joe's Card Corral. Please uh, link him uh, down below, Corey, and uh, show him some love, you guys. We need to see a video from Joe here pretty soon. Miguel Batista. <laughs> Grimes Times has ripped them in half right now. 
I'm sure Joe would love that. Troy Gloss and Ryan Zimmerman. That's another nice one. Rookie Sensations. How big this set is, but uh, that's a decent one. Mark Teixeira is the final card in that pack. And we have two packs left for John A. Let's see. Rookie Sensation set. It looks like there are 25 cards in there. Papal Bonds in there. The Prince Fielder. A couple more nice ones to look forward to. Verlander is probably the best one in the set, honestly. Steve Rodemacher is another great opening. I did post two more videos tonight with some shout-outs, including the passes alive. Keep up the good work and keep building the community. Thank, thank you very much, Steve Rodemacher. I don't know if I'm subbed to you or not, but I definitely will after uh, this stream's over. I should be, but I didn't see that video, so I'll have to go check that out. Hey, Adam Y, what's happening? Paul Canerco leading off here. Sean Figgins, Khalil Green, Ibaldo Jimenez, that's a decent one too. Delwyn Young and John Lester, Felipe Lopez, and Albert Pujols base card. I'd say he's a good stack so far. <laughs> boom, boom, slang. Last pack, another big poppy. Year in review, that's pretty awesome. Jacques Jones, Francisco Cordero. Mike Cameron, shout out to um, Paul L. and Dan Ugla. And Jeremy Sowers. And look at this. Another big poppy. You're in review. These are cool cards. It's a lot. Like I said, they definitely have like the recycled card stock feel to them. Like 90, uh, what was it, 96 and 97 Fleer had. But like I said before, the final year for Fleer. John A., I'd say that you did pretty well with that stack, man. So moving on to... We'll do the uh, bottom left next. We usually do it the other way around, but we'll switch it up a little bit here. Keep people on their toes. I think I made a boo-boo there. Three, six. So the final pack there was actually... This last pack actually belonged to Jeff, or actually uh, Philip S. That's my fault. That's what happens whenever you do things too quick. So I'll have to pull those out. The year in review card and the others went to Philip S. My fault. Should have known something like that would happen. So the Ortiz is yours, Philip, and we have eight packs here. <laughs> Absolute chaos. Let's get started. Barry Zito, crowning achievement in the back here. Jason Michaels, Freddy Garcia, Pudge Rodriguez and his Tigers, Uni. Jason Ishringhaus and Rodrigo Lopez, Mini. Jeff Baker, rookie card. And James Loney again, Marcakis. And there is the Barry Zito crowning achievement. On to pack two here. Bobby Abreu. It seems like we have an insert card basically in every single pack besides the rookie sensation. So that's pretty good luck. Urban Santana. Hoffman is a nice one. Ryan Braun. That's a nice card. His rookie. Shane Newman and Chad Billingsley. Rookie sensation. BJ Ryan. And there's the Bobby Abreu year in review. Very, very nice. I like that one. <laughs> hey, accidents happen, man. I, I am only human. That's not the first time that I've done that either, so please don't hate me. Yeah, not that Ryan Braun. Carlos Quentin, Delgado, Josh Fields, and Matt Kemp. That's a decent one. Rookie Sensations, Dan Ugla, and our crying achievement, Delgado. Josh Pesner says, send me your unwanted A's cards, ladies and gents. John, what are you trying to pull besides rookies in this one? Just inserts in general. I always loved pulling uh, inserts out of like Fleer and Fleer Ultra back in the 90s. So Pulled some nice ones so far too. Grady Sizemore, Tony Gwynn Jr. Jake Peavy, Verlander Mini. That's pretty awesome. Very, very nice. Nothing too notable as far as the rookies go. A.J. Burnett. Papelbon is a nice one, too, and Jermaine Dye. Pretty awesome. On Phillips S's stack here. Put his name up there so you can see it. 
And there's a Mike Messina. That's pretty awesome. Corey started PCing him recently. He's got a lot of cards. Not as many as some guys, though. Randy Johnson, nice one. Chipper Jones, it's pretty crazy. Two guys, Corey PCs in the same pack. Might want to work out a deal with uh, Corey on those ones, Phillip. And Connor Jackson, rookie sensations. And there's a perfect 10 Mussina. That's pretty awesome. Junk Wax Jakes has pulled an Aaron Judge rookie out of a $4 pack today. That's pretty awesome. What was it, one of those fat packs from 2017 tops? I don't know if I ever pulled a Judge rookie or not. I think maybe I did out of one pack before. Luis Gonzalez, pretty late in his career. Orlando Cabrera, Angel Sanchez, Connor Jackson again, back-to-back -back packs. Nick Johnson and Albert Pujols in the zone. That's pretty awesome. These cards are cool. I like those a lot. Down to the final two packs since I screwed up and overcounted the first stack like a true asshole. <laughs> Alfonso Soriano in the back here. Liriano, BJ Upton, the chase or the uh, spacer card. Howie Kendrick, mini Michael Bourne, Oswaldo Navarro, Josh Barfield, Soriano, back to back Sorianos. Year in review, pretty awesome. And the final pack for Philip. Chipper Jones, always a good sign seeing him. She pulled five of his 91 score out of two boxes of those the other day. Pretty awesome. His big poppy again, Prince Fielder, David Murphy, Juan Murillo, John Lester again, Cordero, and perfect 10, Chipper Jones. So I'm sure that Corey probably needs some of those cards, Philip. I know you guys. I think he, you guys have traded before in the past, so... Maybe you guys can work out some sort of deal for some of those PC guys. Is top right, Jeffrey P. We are going to you. Let's make sure we count these out. Okay, we have three. We have six. Just like in kindergarten. <laughs> That's what I have to do. All right, we got nine there. Everyone see nine? Okay, we're good. Paul says Tejada juiced. Yeah, he definitely did. Look at that, Derek Jeter in the back. Pretty good sign starting out for Jeffrey P. Year in review. Chipper Jones, another good sign here. Billy Wagner is Mets attire. Kind of weird. Ian Kinsler, Wayne Wright. Liriano, rookie sensation. Zimmerman. And there's Jeter, year and in review. Pretty freaking awesome. It's a nice one. Very, very nice. Moving right along here. Soriano again on the back. Perfect 10, it looks like. Pat Burrell, Pat the Bat, Roger Clemens Mini is a cool one, Fred Lewis, Kenji Jajima, he was a big, big prospect around this time, Roy Halladay and Perfect 10, Alfonso Soriano, pretty decent pack there, on a pack three, another Jeter, that's pretty crazy, crowning achievement, Chris Benson leading off, man. I was definitely on, on board the Benson bus back when he was on the Buckos. Oh, Kadire. Milton Bradley. Jeremy Hermita. Josh Johnson. And there is the Jeter Crony Achievements. That's pretty awesome. Two Jeters in this stack so far. Off to a really good start. <laughs> Dom G. Let's hope we can find... Uh, See if we can find some different inserts. We've been seeing a lot of the same sets here. Not that they're not nice. I like them a lot, but look for something else. Mayor Mirrors, Ben Sheets, Paulo Duca. Big Poppy. We're getting a lot of these pretty awesome uh, minis uh, out of these. Carlos Maldonado. I don't remember him at all. Brian Schneider, Ian Kinsler, Rookie Sensations, and Vladdy Guerrero, Base. Off to a really good start. And Trevor Hoffman on the back. Tim Hudson. Kendall in his A's attire. Kind of weird. Delman Young is a decent one, though. His rookie card. Jojima again. Vernon Wells and Trevor Hoffman. Kinsler had a nice career. He definitely did. <laughs> Corey, all the hot ones are psycho. No autos yet. We're still looking, though. Tony Peralta. Jeff Francoeur. And Russell Martin, the mini in that pack. Tolowitzki rookie card. Very nice. 
Probably one of the best ones we can pull out of this 50-card subset. Tulowitzki and Prince Fielder, rookie sensation, is pretty awesome. Benji Molina and Chase Utley here in review in that pack. Final three. We have Ryan Howard on the back here, perfect 10. Brandon Phillips leading off Justin Verlander. A Mo Rivera, that's pretty awesome. Yachty Molina, freaking all-star pack here. Mike Mussina keeps getting better and better. And kind of downhill now. Ricky Nolasco, Guzman, and Ryan Howard. What a lineup there, though. Verlander, Mo Rivera, Molina, and Mussina. Pretty freaking awesome. Last two packs, so... Pretty much found all the Chase rookies. Now it's Chase after some autos. Kurt Schilling in the back. Future Hall of Fame more than likely. Garrett Anderson, Cole Hamels, Sexton, Chipper Jones, Mini again, Vinny Rotino, and Matt Garza, rookie sensations, Jared Weaver. I feel like we've probably seen that whole set now, pretty close to it. And Kurt Schilling, crowning achievement. Jay Zubbins is nice yachty. I figured you would like that one. Jay collects uh, their PCs, Yachty Molina who will no doubt be in Cooperstown at some point. Stephen Drew, Aaron Cook, Johan Santana, Lance Berkman, Benitez, nothing too notable as far as rookies go there, Jose Vidro, Cole Hamels, and Carlos Zambrano ends that stack out for Jeffrey P. It takes us to the final stack already. Wow, I cannot believe it. That went by way too fast. All right, three. I was like, did I miscount again? Three, six, nine. I'm never doing this kind of box again. My fat hands just want to grab all the packs at once. Not a good idea. Chris R., you are in the final stack of what I hope to be nine packs. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Paul... Paul L, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Pool holes on the back here. Andy Marte, Washburn, Randy Wynn, Carlos Quentin, Mini. Nothing too notable in those rookies. Liriano, rookie sensations. It's a nice one. Ryan Zimmerman, and there's the pool holes here in review. Pretty nice. I mean, boxes of these aren't very expensive either. I think um, the stacks in this break were like 12 bucks a piece. So they're really not too expensive to get yourself a box of these. You want to rip some and try to find some of those autos on your own time. That would be definitely a fun chase. we got some printing blemishes on here. Kerry Wood, Ramon Hernandez, Billingsley, Julio Franco, Ichiro. Nice pack so far. Kenji again, Roy Halladay, and there is the Johan Santana. Skylar White, welcome to the party, man. Appreciate you joining us. Those perfect 10 cards are nice. I think those are my favorite inserts so far of the set. Kerry Wood was definitely uh, pretty freaking awesome, man. Omar Vizquel in the back here. Marquez is leading off. Shen Ming Wang and Maglia Ordonez. <laughs> it's a funny photo. Yeah, Barry Zito. Jerry Owens, Troy Gloss, Zerman again, and there is the Omar Vizquel. Shaka's Closet, how's it going, man? Final six packs of tonight's break. It's going too fast. I need to rip a box of 91 score. So we have uh, Andrew Jones, I'm guessing, on the back of this one. And Andrew Jones on the top of the pack. Pretty nice surprise there. Matsui. Looks like he means business on that card. David Wells is pretty awesome. Luis Castillo. Jimenez, rookie card again. Delwyn Young. John Lester, Felipe Lopez, and Andrew Jones in the zone. Pretty cool. Kind of remind me of uh, the late 90s circuit cards. Paul says, was that 06 Ultra with the Kenji Redemption? Yeah, that definitely was because we opened. It was either 06 or 07. We opened, um, what, like four boxes of those? I think we actually we pulled one, didn't we? We definitely did. <laughs> the Redemption for, I don't know if it was for his auto or just for, I think it was just for his base card. So ridiculous. They really hyped him up. Carlos Beltran. Lyle Overbay and A-Rod year in review. I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, that was pretty crappy that they made you send in a frequent redemption for his base card. 
that I think was like numbered too for Kenji. Yeah, definitely very hyped up. Big Poppy again. Perfect 10. I don't know if we saw this one or not. We saw two other his insert cards. Base car redemption. Yeah, what a ridiculous notion. Jeff Kent, Mark Grudzelonic, Jason Veritek, Mini, and Scott Olson saw that one earlier. Ramon, Ramon Ortiz and David Ortiz. Perfect 10. Pretty awesome looking card though. I like those. Three packs left. And we are out of here. And then um, I'll probably take a day off and organize some stuff. And then Thursday, we're going to do a finish off, do part two of the 80s and 90s uh, rookie card auction. So do that Thursday night, probably like 8.30. And uh, Houston Street, Andrew Miller rookie card again. Haley Ramirez, that's a nice one. And Pool Hall's Crown Achievement. I don't know if we saw that one or not. I can't remember. Down to the final two. Let's cross our fingers for something uh, obscure. Derek Lee, Adam Dunn leading off. Bill Hall, Miguel Montero. Verlander again. I like that car a lot. That's definitely got to be the best one in that set. And Derek Lowe in the final pack of the night. Jason Bay on the back. Let's see what we can find in here. Joe Maurer. Jane Moyer pitched for freaking ever. Ryan Sweeney, Kevin Hooper, Scott Olson, Austin Kearns, and Jason Bay. So we didn't find an autograph, but uh, I'd say we definitely did pretty good. We found a lot of nice insert cards. Found all the best rookie cards. And, um, yeah, I'd say that was a pretty fun break. It's fun to go back and see stuff that I never got to open. Wasn't collecting in 07. So, like I said, if you want to get yourself a box of these and uh, try your luck, they're really not too expensive. They won't break the bank. And you can search after uh, fresh ink and autographics cards just like we did and struck out. But still had fun. I want to appreciate – or I want to thank you guys, and I appreciate all you guys for being here every Tuesday for this series. Uh, it's always a lot of fun to do this. Like I said, Thursday we'll be back with uh, a, a, a live auction, 80s and 90s rookie cards. So hopefully uh, you guys will be able to make that. And um, I guess I will see you all then. Thanks again. Remember to uh, subscribe, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all on Thursday. Have a great night, you guys.